In the last few videos on elevator recall, I was working under the assumption that the elevator company told us that we needed to turn on two relays anytime the fire hat relay had to come on. So we would turn on the one relay um, for fire hat flash if, let's say, the machine room activated, but then we would turn on a second relay to send the car up to the alternate floor or down to the primary floor, etc. Um, in this video, I want to go over what would happen if the elevator company told you that they needed two, they, I'm sorry, that they could only handle one relay at a time, and you didn't have a basement, so your, your fire hat flash might need to send the car to two different floors. So let's first look at the machine room or the pit, and let's say that when that activates, we need to send the car up to the second floor, right? Well, we don't have the luxury now of turning on your fire hat relay and your alternate relay because they can only have one relay come on. So we'll give them a relay and we could label it machine room slash pit, but we're going to need another relay for the elevator shaft because when the top of shaft activates, we're not sending the car to two, we're going to send it to one. And so that's an example of when you would need that fourth relay. So in that case, you would have your primary recall, which is when no fire hat is required. You'd have your alternate recall, which we would then label first floor smoke. And then instead of having a fire hat relay, you would have something like, um, I mean, you could label it how, however you want, but I would probably have a relay that simply says top of shaft, and then we'd have another relay, um, a fourth in the machine room. And that one would say um, probably something like pit. Um, I don't know. We could we'd probably call it elevator pit slash machine room, whatever. It's, it's sort of irrelevant, but you get the idea. So I'm not even going to go through the trouble of labeling it, but in that case, that can occasionally be a problem because when, depending on if you're an installer who does your own conduit work or if you're somebody that comes in at the end, occasionally all of this stuff will have already been piped. You'd have 1,900 boxes sitting there waiting, and then at the last minute you realize, oh, wait a minute, we need another box for our fourth, um, for our fourth relay. But the only way you would know that is based on, whoops, I went the wrong way, the layout of the building, right? So if, if, even if your elevator company told you that they needed only one unique relay at a time, if your building were laid out like this up here, then you'd be okay because the basement and the machine room, which is located in the machine room, um, is going to send the car to one, and the top of shaft is going to send the car to one. So you'd only need one fire hat relay. But when you're, when you're, machine room is located on the primary floor and it's required that that sends it to the alternate floor, that's when you need that fourth relay. So if we were programming this, it would be um, similar. Let's look at how we would do it. Um, so before we were turning on, I guess the whole thing would be pretty much the same except now we're going to add a fourth relay, M24. Um, instead of flashing hat, like I said, we'd have top of shaft. And then, let's say machine room slash pit. And um, that would be zone 14, and now you're just going to zone your smokes accordingly. So first floor machine room, instead of turning on 12 and 13, um, now it's just going to turn on 14 because machine room, the relay for that is 14. Uh, top of shaft, instead of turning on 11, which was primary, and 13, it's just going to turn on 13, because that relay is 13, right? And then the pit is going to mimic the machine room, which is zone 14 only. I think that's straightforward enough. Hopefully that makes sense.